Good evening, YouTube. A couple of years ago, when I was in holiday in Crete, I went for a walk from Gouverneto Monastery. Uh, there's a video up about it. Long story short, I didn't get as far as I wanted because I didn't have enough water. I was back in the same area a couple of weeks ago, and I was able to get to Catholico Monastery, which is what I was trying to reach. And took the camera of course and took a few photos uh, and as people probably know I quite like doing panoramas so I put some together and there's one of the monastery going across your screens now you can probably see that piece of vertical masonry is the entrance and then the chapel that's down there there's a couple of ruined buildings it gives you an idea of the, the sort of side profile of it. These are the steps down. Going down wasn't, well down from the path, down wasn't too much of a problem. Uh, going up was something of a problem. Uh, I've written a bit more about that over on my Tumblr if you're interested. Link's in the description. So I got a bit snap happy and put these photos together into a big uh, I don't know what you call it, collage. You can see the entrance arch there on the right with the steps behind that go up to the path that comes down from Gouvernetto to Catholico Monastery. There's a couple of the ruined buildings. The one with the two windows facing us has grass growing on it during the, summer, during the winter and spring, as does the bridge on the left. You can see on the right the entrance to the church there a couple of places where i should have got an extra couple of snaps i couldn't have wor work out quite where the bridge was meant to go uh, there this is a reverse view effectively from what we were looking at um, the w building with the two windows is in the center there uh, with the arch on the left the bridge is pretty substantial um it's another shot across of everything and there's rooms in it it goes over uh, what looked like a dry river bread bed I guess water runs through it uh, other times of the year it was pretty hot and dry in the summer but it didn't seem to go anywhere it just seemed to end at a cliff face you can get over and get down to the side of it into the dry river bed and then get down uh, along the Avalaki Gorge to the sea there which at some point I might quite like to do I would like to go back because it's a lovely area and for a couple of nights we were in Harnia city um, Harnia town which is the capital of Harnia prefecture this is the Venetian harbor from the eastern end the lighthouse and the sea wall and so on and I also went up what's called the bastion I think and took a pretty much 360 degree picture of Hania. Unfortunately it doesn't really do it justice because it's basically looking at the back of everything and it's quite a pretty little town and you really don't see it um, in this but gives you some idea of the of what the town looks like. Unfortunately just at the end the panorama program I use which is called Huggin I uh, got a little bit confused because I didn't get the pictures lined up quite properly. But I think for the most part they've worked pretty well. Anyway, I was quite pleased to finish something that I couldn't quite do uh, a couple of years ago. Um, that's pretty much what I did on my holidays. There's, like I said, more on my Tumblr and some history of the Catholico Monastery, as well as links to my uh, Flickr. I'm Landon Cole. I'll see you next time.